Hey, Martin here. So yeah, today we're gonna conduct a little experiment. Um, I've got a 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee here with a 4.7 liter motor. Um, it was installed from the previous owner with a K&N cold air intake system. Um, and I'm not a big fan about what they call a cold air intake because of the what I believe is a lot of engine air that you're drawing in, hot under the hood engine air. Um, does this system probably draw more air than the factory box I got sitting here? Most likely it does. But all we're going to do is I just want to prove that this is drawing hotter air than this does. So what we're going to do is I got a uh, Super Chips Trail Dash 2 on the dash. It tells me what the air intake temperature is. We're going to get this up to normal operating temperature, take it for a nice cruise, and see what the temperature is. Then we're going to come back, install this factory box back in, take it for the exact same drive, and see what the temperature is then. Um, and the reason I don't like these so much is they don't seal up against the hood here and especially down below here at the bottom of this piece of plastic that they give you. I mean I'm looking right into the engine compartment and there's you know a hot header down there and uh, so the experiment is just to prove the difference between the air intake temperature from this from the stock one. It's not a not a performance test of any sort. Just air intake temperature only. All right, so let's take it for a drive and uh, we'll see what we come up with. I just fired this up. So you can see here, it also shows the battery temperature. Right up there, 69 degrees and also the air intake temperature at 69 and that's probably the current ambient temperature right now now you're gonna see that the air intake temperature is gonna get hotter once this vehicle gets warmed up okay I've got this up to normal operating temperature you can see the temperature of the motor down here at the lower left is 201 and our air intake temperature right now is at 96 degrees we're cruising at 66 miles an hour there it dropped to 95 it's a pretty cool day today for Vegas see the battery temperature there is at 71. That's probably really pretty close to ambient temperature. I think it might be a little bit cooler than that. Now there's a good steady reading of 91 degrees on the air intake. We're still cruising at 66. temperature for quite some time so I'm gonna say that's as low as it's gonna get and that's you know a good constant temperature that we're getting at this speed at this rpm we're turning around uh, looks like 1800 rpm right now okay I'm here at home I've been sitting here idling for about a minute and a half and as you can see the temperature's gone up on the air intake right here and our battery temperature's gone up a little bit too as well as the engine temperature all right so now we're going to shut it up down and put in the stock air box Okay, 
first installing this part of the cold air intake. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to drop the factory box in. Now I did purchase a uh, an upgrade for the uh, stock box, and that was the air raid right there. Now that's not going to change the temperature of the air coming in, and it comes with all the clamps a new air intake hose extremely easy installation it installed the stock air box here cruising at you know the same pretty much the same speed within a mile an hour and I gotta say I'm a little disappointed because uh, we're looking at right about the same temperature it's flickering between 93 and 91 so you can see the engine temperature is the same. I really expected to see a bigger difference than this. Well, after uh, doing that test, I'm uh, kind of actually disappointed. I really thought we'd be pulling around a 10 degrees cooler air temperature. Um, with the factory one over the so-called cold air intake um, even um, air raid claims that this is a colder air intake than like the style that uh, K&N sells or even their own high performance cold air intake of air raids um, so I mean I didn't see any change whatsoever you know, there was we were within a degree or so. Um, now that was at cruising speed. There's a lot of air movement in here. At idle and maybe stop and go traffic and city traffic, you could see a difference. I mean, I would think you would see a difference. Um, but at uh, highway speed, there was absolutely no difference whatsoever. Now, I'm sure the amount of air, I would think the KNN would outperform the stock box. Um, it had a better intake tube um, right here, and then it had a very open air cleaner, which draws air from every direction. And uh, I would think it would 
definitely draw more air. But, uh, like I say, I'm a little disappointed, but I guess that's the way it goes, and now you know, um, as far as a cold air intake, it doesn't seem that the, the stock one or the aftermarket one are any different. Alright, well, thanks for watching.